today we discuss Ark. Ark is going to be amazing. And today I hope to bring you guys some awesome information concerning Ark, if you haven't heard, in hopes to get you excited about the game, help you be informed about the awesome things this game will have to offer, and hopefully clear up any questions that you might have. Now, given that there is so much information in all the FAQs that are out there and all the information that I wish to cover, I'm going to split this up into several videos. So that way we can kind of keep things concise and to the point and we can cover specific topics in specific videos. Now, art comes out early access on June 2nd, so I'm going to hopefully be able to bring you guys uh, these videos over the weekend and so that way you guys can have this information ready to go for when it actually releases and maybe you guys can decide beforehand if this is something you would actually want to get. Now today's video will feature information about tamed and training dinos as well as a bit of information concerning the weapon systems that we'll find in game. So first off, what is Ark? Well, Ark is a survival game where you hunt, harvest resources, craft items, farm and grow crops, research new technologies, build bases, and survive in an awesome world filled with all manner of dinosaurs and other freaking awesome creatures like saber tooths and giant tortoises and things like that and you can team up with other players tame and train dinos fly through the skies on pterodactyls construct base defenses farms villages and a ton more there's so much information out there and i cannot wait to play the game bring you guys these videos and tons and tons of videos from the game because i think that this is going to be a game that a lot of people will want to get and want to play now one of the biggest things this game has to offer is that you can tame and train dinos and other creatures let's start off by talking about all the cool aspects that pets when you're trained dinos and trained creatures have to offer there will be over 30 dinos and some people are saying 40 48 creatures at early access and then a total of 70 plus planned for final release and final release will be probably in like a year and that's just kind of like when they say they'll wrap up the game and i don't know so some creatures will be able to be tamed trained and you can even ride them taming certain ones will offer more difficulty as some will be far harder and maybe uh it might take a group of people to bring it down. They can be tamed using a challenging capture and affinity process, which involves weakening a feral creature to knock it unconscious and then nursing it back to health with the appropriate food. So, you know, you can't just feed uh, vegetables to a carnivore and vice versa to a herbivore or whatever. So, to tame a creature, you will need to knock it out using a variety of possible methods, such as blunt trauma to the head, tranquilizers or certain other weapons that may be more effective against this specific creature so there might be weapons that are like more specifically geared towards knocking something specific out now once tame you can issue commands to your pet which will follow uh, depending on how well you've tamed it and how well you've trained it pets can level up and consume food they can carry an inventory and equipment such as armor carry prey back to your settlement to your village your base whatever you want to call it and then Larger pets can be ridden and directly controlled. So think of all the things that you can do with a controllable pet, you know, trample a village, uh, you know, hunt people down. And you can even fly pterodactyls, pick up enemies, and drop them to their death. That is freaking amazing. I cannot wait. You can move quickly through jungles using raptors, destroy entire villages with a giant brontosaurus, and even use a T-Rex to go, you know, hunt down all kinds of manner of things. Now, if you are in a tribe, you'll gain instant control over all the pets in the tribe. So that means that you can have one guy who's like designated to go out and try to capture a bunch of pets and dinos and like bring them back for your tribe. So, you know, that's really cool. Pets gear will be able to be customizable. Will you be able to paint their saddles? And then they plan to add more accessories later. So things, it might even get even better. And now you'll be able to and uh, you'll need to feed your pets because, uh, you know, obviously they're going to get hungry. And you can place food in the inventory and they will know when they need to eat. Pets will have their own levels and be able to gain new abilities based on those levels. And they will be able to be uh, healed with food. And you can only die of either starvation or being killed by predators or other players. I said that really weird. 
If you no longer want a pet, you can select an option to release them, giving up ownership claims and allowing anyone to take ownership of it. It will take a while for pets to starve, like I was talking about. Wait, I don't think I've talked about this yet. As hunger is based on activity. So if you aren't doing much, your pet should be fine for a week or so. But if you are active, you will need to manage its food and hunger. Different dinos will have different abilities. However, no word yet has been given to what those exactly are. And so obviously you're going to have smaller stuff be able to probably move quicker and larger stuff be able to do specific things. And it's going to be very specific to the creature and to the species itself you will be able to set pets to a specific setting to allow them to attack on sight attack uh, anything that attacks your tribe attack anything you attack or ignore everyone so there are very specific attack patterns that you can have and so think about all the strategy you can have as a group as a tribe moving through the jungle attacking other players or something like that or attacking specific other creatures very awesome things that are going into this game and one of the cool things too is that there's like 40 people working on this game so you know that they're putting in a lot of effort and there's a lot of support Another thing that's really cool is that pets can be set to defend your base uh, with various AI settings. And some pets can be very effective for defending purposes, uh, depending on the species. And pets can suffer permadeath, though, if they're killed. So if you you have them set to defend your base and somebody tries to reach your base and kills your pet, then they're dead. But, I mean, just think about it. Like, what's very effective for defense I would think like raptors, you know, like hiding out or something. Very stealthy, agile, and then all of a sudden you're dead. And then also uh, they were talking about like various different things that you can possibly do in the in the future with like deadfall traps and stuff. Imagine like deadfall traps with a bunch of dodo birds at the bottom. <laughs> you just like they fall into it and die or you just, uh, you know, drop people into it. But I don't know what exactly when that kind of stuff will happen because they did talk about terraforming and how they really don't want you to be able to terraform. So that must be something very specific specific like maybe in between some rocks or something i don't know but um it's just some cool thought things to think about now let's move into the weapon systems and combat a little bit uh, we'll talk more about this in the future but for now let's just talk about what we know and some of the basics swords and shields are planned later in game development and on early release we'll be able to see full plate armor sets and other types of armor they also talk about like camouflage systems and painting and you know being able to put on leaves and stuff like that all those things are going to be coming in the future and i think early access you're going to be able to paint um, so you can have camo that way you'll be able to craft various items and various weapons and find loot throughout the world and even guns so you can have you know very primitive uh, weapons and then you can also find like better loot via like these drops that happen around the world and they're indicated by colors and the different colors mean different things like some are going to be easier some are going to be harder and the harder ones probably are going to have like harder uh like t-rexes or something guarding it or something like that so it's going to be very specific loot and that you're going to be able to find and i'm sure it's going to be random too but you know you will be able to find uh, guns and better weapons and stuff like that there will be no bullet drop on guns though primitive weapons will have travel time so you do have to uh, you know account for throwing a spear probably or shooting bows or something like that they might also be adding siege weapons in game and more specifically dinosaur mounted siege weapons but they won't be in game until later as well they also stated they wanted they want relatively hardcore realistic damage models so pretty much any headshot will kill you unless you're wearing a helmet and structures also will take realistic amounts of damage based on the type of weapons used the example given is that you won't be able to break through metal with a stone tool but a metal tool will be very effective as for attaining guns and weapons they can be found in loot crates but also crafted from blueprint items or engrams that you learn via skill progression so there is like a skill progression system and we'll We'll talk more about the skill tree in another video and uh you know whatever information we can find on that depending on what the weapon is it, it may require many kinds of components that also may need to be crafted rather than just finding raw materials so you might have to craft specific types of things to craft an overall weapon there's also a weapon attachment system so you can add scopes sights flashlights and other accessories onto the gun as for how many uh too many to easily list off, but they have gotten 
all the various types covered already sniper rifle machine guns pistols shotguns rocket launchers grenades tripwire explosives remote detonating c4 and a ton of other primitive weapons and other weapons and um you know those will continue to expand over time now in the next video we'll try to talk more a bit about uh general gameplay skill tree progression crafting building and a ton more i'm going to try to make it a little bit more general and uh so check back for that video it's going to probably be posted tomorrow because i'm going to try to get these out very quickly so that you guys can be hyped up and excited for when it releases on june 2nd which is right around the corner it's like three days away make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are just checking out this video to stay up to date with arc information as well as daily content when arc is finally released and uh thanks for watching and hope you know hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to click that thumbs up button below and i'll see you guys in the next video